<laughs> the name itself is hilarious. <laughs> like, foreign, foreign names of stuff that is basically just pronounced in English. It's uh, it, it's amazing, and it's it, it, it's very frequent. Like I will never forget the mascot for Cuppy. It took me. I'm it took me a not. sec. It took me a whole second then. <laughs> you guys didn't forget for Cuppy, did you? I don't. I've, I've never. I have never heard of for Cuppy. Please enlighten ah. me. Bring me the light. Oh, okay. You have never heard of for Cuppy. I I certainly never forgotten it. <laughs> I, I was I was sheltered. I didn't I didn't access the internet much while growing. Okay. Um. Uh, give me a second. I'll I'll right, so um bring up an image from now. And please bear in mind, I am not bullshitting you with this. This is something. I uh, put it in the stream chat first, and then I'll post it in here. This is 100% legitimate. This is a real thing. Yep. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm munching down on some gummy bears. Oh. Fuck up me. I see now. Yeah. It's Ooh, it's an egg with with, gummy with wings. and wings. Bouncing and here and there and everywhere. There is nothing cute about that face. <laughs> they are the gummy bears. The okay, meantime, so I can't go over there either. I'm still struggling with how they landed on it. Fuck up. I know it has to mean something, but I'm not sure. I think this has to do with entering the red door. My memory's a little bit vague, so if somebody goes to lose their shit over how I'm playing the game, chill the fuck out. Entering the red door? Golden is trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood? Shut up. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No, uh, apparently I had to figure out a way out of here. So you got a mental image of Golden hiring the Dark Brotherhood to try and kill SAX. <laughs> 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 That's gonna be a lot of dead assassins. Worm? Uh, Wheel of Steel? If you're talking about Cerus X, I already took care of him. What area have I not accessed? Yeah. I probably may have been somewhere and probably forgot. I don't know. No, I've already been there. Damn it, um, no. Okay, this is, this is probably something that I would rarely run to um, earlier today when um, my mom and I went out and about uh, we were at one of the craft stores because my mom was looking for a particular ribbon to make a reef out of uh, um, and uh, Morty <laughs> when uh, ah. I was getting Wait, what some, I was in the line to get some particular fabrics for one of my projects at least I fucking saved and well, I was in line ah, to get it cut out. When I, uh, when I was in line to get it cut out, um, I saw this group of girls. One of them had a backpack that was Sailor Moon. Uh, I had to reactivate the freaking. So Whatever. Like, oh my gosh, she's got a Sailor Moon backpack! <laughs> At least it's not okay. Apparently, according to uh, Nielsen, that is a real Ben and Jerry flavor. That that link that link they sent. Yeah. Wow. And uh, hey, at least it's not orange juice and toothpaste. Oh, uh, right, it's not. <laughs> that's not real. I refuse to believe that's real. That was a joke. I, I'm it was a joke. It was something that it's, it's just joke. ew. It was supposed to be. I knew it was a joke, but I'm glad it's not real. Oh God. God. No! Ah! Like twice. Who would have the 
mindset to create that if it was real? Who would have the mindset to create that? Who would have the mindset to stomach it? Let us uh, revisit soda that is flavored like peanut butter and jelly. Bacon. <laughs> you would be garlic. Surprised at what people are into. Uh, cappuccino. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's pretty safe to say nothing is off limits. Eh, touche. Fucking, I remember there was a British news story about ice cream that would make that was made with human breast milk. Wait, what? Ew! You're what? not serious. I am. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> apparently it was a thing. It was an idea that they had, but apparently it never took off because I haven't seen anything of it. But apparently it was an idea. I mean, there's an all-natural argument to be had, but still... <laughs> the deafening silence is amazing. <laughs> I'm just weirded out by the prospect of women getting their tits out and squeezing them dry for ice cream. Why not? People were getting their dicks out for a monkey. Uh, yeah, but you didn't have I don't to. I think they were actually doing it for real. It was a joke! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your microphone peaked for a minute, too. That's jelly for you. Oh my yeah, god, um... So, yeah. I don't know if it was genuine, but, like, apparently, based on something I heard, there were plans for a human breast milk ice cream. Get out of the way! Ew. I think I've heard of it. <laughs> why? Oh, there the we world go! Is okay. Dead. I have one theory of why that was an idea. Somebody must have been very horny. And gets off to breasts. Jesus Christ. So well, you've got, spot. <laughs> so you've got like eighty percent of the male population. Congrats, that really now. And that. about <laughs> and about forty percent of the female. Oh yeah, that's true. That are that uh, okay? Because I heard I know this. People can get into a lot of the weirdest stuff. Like they have the weirdest kinks. And, Isn't and there a kink where? The, the, isn't there a kink that exists where guys like enjoy getting their balls whipped? Ow! There is. What? Someone I'm not joking. I swear to God, I've seen it. There's some who like their balls stepped that on just too. Sounds uh, and I have to do all this again. Fucking lovely. <laughs> Sorry. <Ouch. sighs> Sorry if the ball whipping distracted you. No, it didn't. <laughs> Oh, then you're into it. Ah, stop! <laughs> there's, there's no. I'm going to I get my think... ass kicked. <laughs> I don't think Logic is liking this. Oh. I guess I shouldn't tell him about that one Japanese game show that I saw the one time. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Which one you're talking about, too. I know yeah, which one. Yep, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, I've seen a few of them, and all of them are like, "Good God, how are these people not dying from intestinal injuries?" Oh uh, no, I, I was thinking about uh, okay, ha! it was a, it was just I a clip I saw where, where somebody was um, emphasizing how there are just some really customs that are really strange to us that are completely normal in Japan. And like, okay, um, it was a game show where where contestants who answered wrong got like a switch to the ball sack. Are you serious? Every single time. Oh shit. And it was and yeah and um I also there's also there's just weird shit in Japan. Like yeah, I, I don't remember, say. I, oh, I, 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 this has nothing to do with ball sacks, but it's still really. Creepy and weird. Uh, it. I remember seeing a video one time about like a public toilet in Japan, where there is just like this Yoda, like this clown kissy face, at, in the bathroom stall. And when you sit down, it like slowly drifts towards you while yodeling, and then it slowly backs away once you're done. What the freaking? Heck? I am not making that up. That's disturbing! 
At least it guarantees that all your shit will be gone. <laughs> that reminds me of a really... That reminds me of a really dumb horror game that Markiplier played called They Come at Poop Time. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. I <laughs> okay, I I'm ready to- I'm already- I'm ready to move on to a different subject matter. Um, okay. who here has Please. ever- Sorry. Since we're talking about Japanese game shows, how many of you have seen a parody of it called MXC? Nope. Um, nope. MXC, sure. or Most Extreme Elimination Challenges, basically, it's a silly parody commentary that was literally on TV. Um, basically, uh, they show footage of game like odd games that are based off of obstacles, and most of the time the characters fuck up and they hurt themselves. But they talk. Isn't that the one that they uh, they dubbed over in English using yes. the people history science here three thousand? Yeah, it's kind of like that. It was actually a game show called Takeshi's Challenge. Well, it it re re regardless, it was a parody and it was hilarious. There was this one, um, video, I don't know if this is from the God same damn it. show, Come on. But, but it was something that was, it was like, aired on Japan, long, and, um, somebody showed the clip of that video on Tumblr a while back, where it was this guy laying on his stomach, and there was a top, and it had something on it, I don't know what it was, but it was some kind of top. And it went around into the opening, and the guy obviously had his pants down. Oh. What the two together? <laughs> what happens to the top? Whoops. <laughs> yeah. And the worst part is, it was on purpose. So I was like, what the freaking heck, Japan? What is this? Are we going back to weirdness, Japan weirdness for body no. stuff? That's no, only... not on that area. Oh, that's it, that's damn it, because be I just remembered a really fucking weird old video that I saw once. Oh no. Uh... Such an unfortunate turn of events that we would not be able to <laughs> be aware of such a strange oh, there's the... thing. Is anybody there's here familiar the... with the Japanese commercial for the... <laughs> For... The Zelda rap? Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't, don't I'm finding a link. Please, no. No. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck is up, pussies? Hey, Solar. Hi. Hi. Solar. We're talking about we're talking about Japanese Ooh, testicle oh, torture. Right. Join us. Oh, understandable. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect him to blink I at mean... that, did you? No. <laughs> But no, but I will tell him. I mean, if we're talking about fucking testicle torture, we can't forget about good old ancient Greece. Because uh, ancient oh. Greece and Rome, you know what happens if they found out that you committed adultery or you raped somebody or you were a pedophile? You know what happened? You got your fucking nuts crushed between two rocks. Just boom! In front I love of Greece. It's a grape in, squisher. In front of fucking everybody. <laughs> Blood fucking splattering everywhere. The guy's in fucking agony. Somebody in the crowd just got a fucking deflated testicle just right there on their fucking face. Like, God damn, that was a good one. It hit me all the way back here. You know, good old I fucking actually ancient Greece and Rome doing that shit. Just, just setting the just, fucking example. Just something we ought to be doing today. If we're, if I'm being honest here, definitely a new definition you know, of physical castration. You know Jesus Christ. You know, Just go ahead, after... you know that somebody's a fucking, somebody's a fucking rapist. Yeah, go ahead, fucking smash his nuts right there. Yeah, you ain't gonna be able to fucking rape like nobody you. else. You're gonna think fucking I twice. You know, that's, you know, this is definitely the, uh, the kind of treatment for a certain <laughs> top hat. Yeah, really. Yeah, I, there you I, go. I, honestly, I, fucking, I didn't think that after the God of War trilogy that Greece could look any cooler. But, wow, I fucking love Greece now. <laughs> Oh yeah, don't forget the Erechtheon. Yeah, oh, really. Oh, dang it, the Erechtheon. Okay. I found it. I put the link inside the stream chat. I know which one you're talking about now. I think I've seen this video before. Like, okay. Weird, but alright then. <laughs> Let's see. Beh. 